Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Bastard Bonds. Now, when we left off, we had just recruited a Matsutaka Mushroom called Gustavo, and we are going to be taking him on a couple of adventures here. So, I've decided that we're going to try and look for the next stronghold because, well, that seems to be a good idea. I mean, why not, you know? As we only have the most basic one, it would be a pretty cool idea. So, I decided... Either there's two options here, we could go for Wooded Shoreline, or we could go for Quiet Clearing. I don't know whether I want to go into the sort of Burnt Foot March here, I, I don't know whether we want to go in there, so I just thought maybe the Wooded Shoreline might be an idea, so let's head in there first, see if we can find anything cool. So as you can see, we have Gustavo, he has 168 fight which is insane. So he is going to hit extremely hard, or at least I hope so. So we're gonna tr let's try and see if there's anything in here. Ah, who's that? That's a Saurian. Oh, a Saurian. Hello there. Okay. Okay, well, Bato is now equipped with the bow, by the way, so he's going to be using the bow a little bit. And we're gonna just move our undead guard over there, and that seems good. Okay, so please attack reformist. Yes, exactly. Okay, and we can move you a little bit more. There we go. And now, let's attack. And now we get a fumble. Of course we do. Oh, of course we get a fumble. Okay, so I suppose that's okay. It's not too bad. Okay, let's see now. So, defense. And let's go for some attack. There we go. Ooh, look at that. 20 damage. 20. Now, that's insane. That's pretty nice. Boom, there we go, Gustavo, he is absolutely destroying them, which is just great. Very, very nice. Okay, so did that guy drop anything? No, I don't think he dropped anything. Is there anything else over here? Aha, hello, there's another one. Okay, so we can just move over here. Gustavo just looks like such an unstoppable beast, doesn't he? He's just like, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nom on that guy, yes. Exactly, it's just, ah, uh, I don't even know. Okay, so, let's move over here. Yes, he's of course going to try and poison us, which is, which is fine. I don't really mind that. There we go, okay, so let's, let's go defense here. And we'll move up one more, and then let's attack. And again, yes, there we go, we got a daredevil, so more experience, I, I assume? Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Okay, so Bato, you're going to use your bow here. Can 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 he wait, wait. How how does he how does he actually use this? Oh, I could just do it like that. Okay, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. That's really nice because I didn't really want to put him into harm's way any further than he already has to be. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, let's try and kill that. There we go. Wow. Gustavo has the pain trait. And that, of course, means that he's going to be dealing a lot more damage, I assume, anyway. I actually don't know what it does, but maybe we can actually check out his skills somehow. But, yeah, he seems to be a very worthwhile companion anyway. So, let's let's loot this chest. There is nothing inside the chest. It wasn't locked or even properly latched. But there was this. Oh, God, not more Sahagween. Don't let them get me. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, don't let them get me. Because, uh, that, yeah, that's what Bato sounds like. Of course. Okay, so this is going to be amusing, isn't it? Okay, so these guys are literally going to die in one hit. Oh, no, they're not. How unfortunate. And you would miss, wouldn't you, Bato? You would miss. Okay, so we're going to go defense on Reformers there. He's just going to tank those two while these two try and kill Gustavo. It's not going to work, is it? It's really not going to work. Boom. Yeah, that's what we like to see. There's a fumble there. That's not what we like to see. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so let's move... Let's move Gustavo over here. Maybe he can actually deal some damage. I'm not entirely sure whether he'll be able to, because he's probably going to fumble. Yeah, he's going to fumble. He's going to fumble as well. That's not too good. Okay, some defense. Let's heal Gustavo up a little bit. There we go, and... There's an... Oh, really? Wow. Bato really needs to get some accuracy or something. Seriously, now. He's not very good at hitting things, is he? No. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bato. Now you've now you, now you just proved me wrong. That's great. That's very nice. Okay, so let's approach this guy. And I think we're just going to attack right now. 
or not, as the case may be. Wow, we're really having some bad luck. There we go. Okay, so that was an ambush. Wow, that is... That was pretty intense, wasn't it? Okay, well, at least they weren't too difficult, the enemies that we had to fight, at least. And we have one more Saurian here, who is, of course, going to be relatively harmless, I suppose. Okay, Reformist is just going to move as far as he can. There we go. Now, please attack Reformist. Are you going to do that? I would appreciate it. There we are. A nice attack. I think we're just going to attack in general with everyone right now. Or we're just going to fumble with everyone. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Absolutely. There we go. Wow. Insane damage right there. Okay, so area has been secured. Is there anything on the ground? No, I don't see anything on the ground. So we can, we can basically just exit now, can't we? And we're all leveling up at a pretty nice pace. Not not yet level 5, but I guess we're going to be getting there soon. What was that? Did, they, did you see that explosion? Hmm. That was a little bit a little bit worrying. I'm not entirely sure what was that. The Ashen Brink or the Treasure Trail? The, the Treasure Trail seems nice, but we're going to save first. Don't really want to lose any progress here. And now we're going to try and go to the Treasure Trail. Sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, this seems like a pretty easy level, at least right now. Anyway. Okay, so we have to head this way. Oh, this looks this looks bad. This looks like corruption has spread throughout. Okay. So far so good. I'm lighting the braziers. I'm not entirely sure whether I should even be doing that. Here's the first enemy. First enemy somewhere here? No? Oh, we can actually go up the ladder. Okay, there's actually something here. Fire pit? This appears to be a signal fire meant to be viewed at a great distance. Light it. The sack has what in it? What is that? What is that? It's a Luxic lens. An accessory. Lux Manor. Okay, I think that's probably for Vanessa, if anything, because she is a spellcaster for the most part, so I think that's probably for her. And now we are being ambushed once again by Saurians with armor and very, very good weapons. We also have another fellow over here called a Titan. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's that's pleasant. Okay, they, they're, they're pretty hard. So we're going to try and dash over here with Bato, and then we're just going to try and deal with these guys the best we can. Okay, this Titan is going to hit extremely hard, I have a bad feeling. Okay, Gustavo is taking some damage here, unfortunately. I think I'm probably going to go defense on Gustavo right now. And we're just going to try and deal some damage to the... Really? Come on now. You can do a lot better than that, can't you? Okay. Whoa, okay, even with defense, Gustavo is literally taking a huge amount of damage. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we're going to need to get him out of there, I feel. So, let's move Let's move around here, I would say, and then we're going to try and get Gustavo out of there. There we are. And try and take out this Saurian if we can. Can we? Yes, there we go. I was really, really not... <laughs> I was not wanting a... Oh, no, I moved him back. Yeah. I think this is probably... Oh, 35! Whoa, okay, that is... That is harsh. That is very, very harsh indeed. Okay, we're going to be moving over here. Thank you very much. 30 damage. Literally 30 damage. Okay, so... Let's try and kill this if we can. There we go, we killed it. Okay, so now, let's move over here. And let's move Gustavo away. And Bato, I think we can just attack with him. Okay, he's hitting Reformist for 30. Oh, y yes. Yes, that's... Not good. Hmm.
Oh, 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 okay. You missed. That's good. Can I can I run? Can I run from this in some way? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, actually. I don't think that's gonna happen. Can I eat this? No, I have to be out of combat, of course. Okay, so I don't think oh wait, I can just move into range here and hopefully he's gonna attack Bato a little bit, but He fumbled. Maybe. No, why did you have to fumble at the end? No, that is terrible. Okay, so I'm just going to try and restore some HP here. And... Oh, I was really hoping for... Ah, uh, I was really hoping for a proper attack there. Okay, come on, Bato. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we defeated everything. And we almost died. So, let's just eat this burnt steak real quick. And we're going to... Take this, let's eat that as well. And we're going to take that turkey, and then Bato will be taking this and eating that. There we go. Okay, so, note to self, do not light signal fires. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? That titan, literally, I think, probably came out of the woodwork because we lit that fire. So it's just me and Bato now, and the others, according to one of you in the comments that has been very helpful so far, according to them... You are absolutely fine. Gustavo is fine, I mean. <laughs> Gustavo and reanimated guard is absolutely fine. So we should be okay. And of course now, I think it's actually kind of easy when we ha have only two to worry about. Because Reformist is literally just going to be standing at the back of the bus, basically. And Bato is just going to be shooting as best he can. So let's go for some defense here. And these wolves are not going to be too difficult as far as I'm aware. So let's just... There we go. Five damage. It's literally... We are going to need to attack with the Reformist. I mean, literally. Bato is going to take 10,000 years to kill these. Isn't he? I mean, literally. Uh, okay. Are we Are we going to do that? Or are we just going to... Are we just going to go defense? I think we'll just probably stay defense right now. And we're going to see what the wolves do. Because they might get a lucky critical and we might have to attack. Like that, for example. But we are healing ourselves pretty nicely, so let's just try and get some extra risk going on here. Okay. There we go. Okay, now maybe I can attack with Reformist, or maybe I can just... Ah, I was hoping for a finish there. No such luck, though. Okay, there we go. That's what we like to see, and now maybe we can get some good damage on... Ah, he's, he was actually doing pretty good on the risk there, but unfortunately not so much there. There we go. Okay, so we killed all of those. And we're still we're still reasonably okay. We're still reasonably in high spirits. There is another dire wolf, however, which is not great. I'm just going to go for some defense, try and recover some HP before we get attacked, obviously. And we're just going to move there. And defense once again. Okay, well, there's a nice critical. Great. Uh, yes. How terrible of this dire wolf. Okay. Oh, fumble? Really? Come on now. You have to do a lot better than that. Are you serious? Okay, so... Let's go for... Let's go for some defense here. I think that's probably going to be a better option than trying to attack with Reformist right now. Is it, though? That's the thing. There we go. Okay, that's what we like. Okay, so now I am going to be eating this dry turkey because I'm a little bit worried about having this, for example. Yes, how wonderful. Okay, so I'm just going to attack straight out the gate right here with Reformist because even though we, we are going to get criticaled pretty harshly, I feel like it's a better idea to just get these guys out of the way as fast as possible. And they don't deal too much damage to us right now, so I think it's okay to do that. Should we open the door? That may have been a really bad idea if we had encountered something. A sconce. Uh-huh. Hello there. Okay. Anything else in here? Not really. Okay. There's a lot of sconces around here. We can always light them. Oh, hello there. Arsonist. Talk. What the hell do you want? I mean, 
What, what the hell do you want? Says Juanita. Yes, we, I, I, unfortunately we can't actually recruit any more. Yeah, yeah, uh, we can't actually recruit any more because we have maximum manpower right now or something along those lines. So that's kind of sad, but we already have an arsonist and she's pretty cool, so I don't particularly think we need another one, but yeah. There we are anyway. Okay, area secured. Excellent. Phew, a little bit worried about that. I was kind of worried about that, and unfortunately none of the others get any experience now, which is so, so bad. Oh. Recover from injury. Oh. You have to select... <laughs> oh. Okay, so you have to actually do Minesweeper. Basically, it's Minesweeper. You have to try and get the right selection. If you don't get the right selection, then that is... Oh my, that's not that's not good, is it? Okay, let's go for a little bit more guard here because we're fighting a lot of physical damage right now. So, we are basically still with Bato and Reformist right now. So, yeah, there seems to be something happening back there as well. Not entirely sure what. It seems to be maybe some sort of time-based thing or turn-based thing or something along those lines. But anyway, there's another episode of Bastard Bonds, and so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.